We're now joined by K. Bretton Eagles defenseman Jacob Squires, his second year with the Eagles, third year in the queue. Jacob, before the Quebec road trip, what are your thoughts on the season thus far for yourself and the Eagles? Well, I think we came off a pretty good start. We threw together some pretty good games, went to overtime lots. It's been up and down kind of start, but I think for now we have to find our game again and get back to what made us successful before. Good things will happen there. I'm looking forward to our Quebec road trip. You get traded from Ron Naranda to Cape Breton after your rookie season. What was your response to finding out you were coming to play for the Eagles? I was pretty excited to come closer to home. Being Rowan is 18 hours away from where I live. Come back to the Maritime. I got to play here in Cape Breton, too, when I was in Rowan. And you know, being here around the facility in San Diego 100, it's a pretty cool rink. It's one of the nicer rinks here in the Maritimes in the league. Playing there every night and practicing there every day. It's a pretty cool environment. I know you were keeping the option open to go to NCAA. And you obviously choose to play the QMJHL, despite the fact you were drafted to a Francophone community very far from home. What was the deciding factor at choosing to play for Rouen as opposed to playing college? They were a successful organization. They just won the Memorial Cup there, and they've been the Memorial Cup final a couple of years back, too. And I knew Noah Dobson, who obviously plays for the Islanders now in the NHL. He had nothing but good things to say about the organization. And Mario, who coached Noah and Junior, too, he had good things to say about him. I was pretty excited to be able to go there and play in the league at 16. Not many kids get to play in the QMJHL or even the CHL at 16. Getting to play in the league at a young age and getting that experience kind of helps me now that I'm 18 years old looking back on my experience when I was 16 kind of learning what guys were like and trying to take things from the older guy you know, that's kind of my job is trying to show the younger guys and be a role model and just be one of those guys that they can lean upon if they need advice or help I saw something really cool when you were finishing your minor hockey days you wrote a great letter to the Charlottetown Minor Hockey Association to tell us how much that organization meant and just how important is that to express gratitude in situations like that 18 years old now, looking back at it, I was 10 years old, growing up through Charlottetown Meyer Hockey. Those are some of my best days playing hockey, just because it was so fun to be able to play with my friends every day. And that's why you play the games, because you love it, but at the same time, you get to go to the rink every day and be with your friend. Today, too, all the guys I play with, those guys are my best friend right now, too. I can't say enough good things about all of the coaches I had over the years and everything like that. I look back at it, and it's kind of hard to put into words what it really meant to me to be able to grow up with that group of guys and play in Charlottetown and just win championships with all of them. It was pretty fun. Just scrolling through your tweets over the years, you seem like you have such a great appreciation for that kind of thing, which is great to see. I understand you played some high-level baseball growing up. Tell us about that. Growing up, me and my brother, we both played hockey in the winter and baseball in the summer. Once I got to Bantam Ball, I kind of started focusing on hockey. But growing up, too, playing ball, it was the exact same thing as Charlottetown in the hockey. It was just going to the ball field in July and August and just hanging out with your friends playing ball. It was pretty fun. Our teams are very good over the years, too. We have probably two or three Atlantic championships. One of our best players back then now is playing Division three college down in the States as a ball player, too. We all went our own ways, but we're doing good. Looking back, you know, it was pretty fun going to the ball field in the summer nights and just hanging out with your friends. Your brother Cam gets picked in the second round. How closely were you keeping tabs on all the meetings and everything that he was having with different teams? And just how excited were you to find out that he was going to join you in Cape Breton? I was obviously pretty happy for him and my family during the draft process for him. I just kind of watched and observed for him. I was there if he needed any advice or stuff like that. But at the same time, he's on his own path and I'm on mine. But I don't want to take anything away from him while he's doing his thing. I think we have that respect factor for each other, but at the same time, we're brothers, and we love being around each other. He's my best friend. It's pretty special having him here, just three steps inside my door across the hall, just like home. Just really excited he's here with me, and I can be one of those older guys to try and show him what the league's like, because when I was 16, I didn't have my older brother there with me. I think it's I think it's pretty special for him, and for as long as we're here together on the same team, we're just going to enjoy the ride. Great moment where you assist on his first goal. Great pass to set him up for a great goal. When you think back to that play, how was that processing in your head when the puck left your stick? Did you think you had a good chance for that moment to happen? I think when the puck left my stick, went to his, I was like, all right, this could be a moment. Well, I'll probably look back at it five years from now. That's one of the special moments I've had in this league. Played three years in the league, and that moment right there is the best moment I ever had in this league, assisting on his first goal, because I know he has a bright future in the league. It's pretty special. It means a lot for, for myself and my family, and it's my best moment for sure been in the league. Your brother Cam is one of the new faces on the Eagles this year, as is Roman Rodzinski. You've been paired with pretty consistently since the season started, and that pair seems to be working well. What is it about you two working together that's made for an effective pairing on the ice? 
I think me and Rory both play a little similar styles. We both want to shut down guys in the D zone and kind of chip in offensively when we can. We both like playing physical and being hard to play against in the D zone, so I think that makes us effective. Up the ice, we kind of like to chip in, work the blue line. We're good there. We're both right here at Huskies draft pick, so it's pretty funny. We're both here in Cape Breton now. Playing with him, it's been pretty good so far, and hopefully we can keep things going here moving forward. Your defense first guy, I think we can say, how would you describe yourself as a player for somebody that hadn't seen you before? I like to be tough to play against my own end, but at the same time, I like to be up the ice and getting the puck up to the forwards and move the puck well and get shots to the net. I don't want to be fun to play against in the D zone. I want to be hard on guys, hard on bodies, finish my hits, but I always think I'm a transitional defenseman. I can move the puck up the ice and be solid in the D zone, kill penalties. At the same time, I want to chip in a little bit offensively when I can. Fans look forward to seeing that progress continue as that time goes on. Thanks for this, Jacob. Best of luck this season. Yeah, thanks, Patty. That's uh, Eagles defenseman Jacob Squires joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Uniglass Plus, K. Breton Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.